Health care has been a topic of concern for quite some time. The unemployed and the elderly are just two groups of people who struggle to pay their bills. These are their stories. When they closed Michael Reese, it devastated the south side of Chicago. You know, Mercy is overwhelmed. Now Providence, now Stroger Moore, every time someone loses their job, it becomes uh, where they can't handle the volume. I think it's the volume. So even if you bring in the patient, I mean the, the staff, the doctors or the nurses, would it flow better? You would hope it would, but I don't know. Lack of funding has shut down public institutions, leaving the ones that are still open financially struggling and overcrowded. Well, from 8.30 in the morning until 2 o'clock in the afternoon is a long time to be waiting to see your uh, primary care physician. For some, hours in a waiting room means one less day of work in their paycheck. And for others who can't work, bills can pile up. Well, uh, I got like uh, 10 years. So when I got sick with my hands, I couldn't work, I couldn't keep a job. When I'm going to work, I work like an hour, then I'm out. I cannot uh, keep up a job, you know, the one I used to do. Many of the elderly utilize the government-funded Medicare program to help with the bills. Well, the uh, Medicare, well, I come and then I uh, give my Medicare card, and then, they, uh, and then I get my medicine, and they, they, I guess they charge Medicare for my medicine, and then it comes to my house every, you know, they give me uh, for three prescriptions, and then after that I have to come back to the doctor about six months, every six months because I worked all my life, so that means I got Medicare. So that is a plus for me and my husband. I thank God for it, for Medicare. It is the best, and I hope we can keep it. I'm worried about my children because I don't know if they have it when they, when they get aged, but I pray they do because it's a, it's a blessing. Medicare may be a blessing, but it doesn't cover everything. Medicare pays 80% or whatever, and you will have to pay the other if you don't have no other insurance. That would be 20% 20 20 you will have to pay. And right now we are looking for another insurance to go with that because as you get older, you know, you have more problems. And we're beginning to have more problems, so we got to get more insurance. Public institutions like Provident Hospital in Chicago provide people with the care they need, whether they have insurance or not. Well, for one thing, uh, for example, as a pediatrician, we'll see oftentimes those children have missed immunizations, they have delayed immunizations. Oftentimes they'll have a chronic illness such as asthma, they won't come in because mm -hmm. they're concerned about the cost of those uh, medicines. And so those children that miss school and the effect is, is tremendous on their lives. Uh, in fact, asthma causes the number one admission, admission I'm sorry, uh, loss of school days for children. Um, so when you don't have money, you're concerned. Can I feed my child? Should I give them their medicines? And they make oftentimes the wrong decisions um, because uh, they can't afford it. We're here as that safety net to provide services regardless of your ability to pay. So in that sense, I really enjoy being here. Even with new health care reform initiatives, many Americans are still without health care and want solutions. Well, times is tough right now, but I would like to see that uh, everybody could get insurance reasonable, you know, because there's so many people that don't have no insurance at all. And that's what I think. that. A person will be able to, any company, insurance company, you know, there is that you'll be able to get a, you know, a decent program where you could have insurance. It's getting someone to explain your health with you and not just come in and tell you to take the medicine. What is the medicine for? And how will it help you? And how long would I have to be on it? If I get improved, would I be taken off of it or would I just continue on? taking the medicine over and over again if my health had improved.